Praise the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to just shout out to all the brothers. I want to say happy Father's Day to all the men, especially all the men that are standing strong in Christ Jesus. I want to say all the way from Snellville, Georgia, I want to say through from Minister Bernard Woods, happy Father's Day to all my brothers in Christ and those who haven't made the move yet. I want to um, acknowledge you and say, man, I'm proud of you. I am so grateful and thankful for all the men who never gave up. You never gave up on your family. You never gave up on your children. You never gave up on your marriage. I want to just applaud you. I just want to celebrate you today and say, God sees you. God loves you. God understand everything about you, my brothers. It's so beautiful to see a man standing strong with his family in these last days and times that we're living in. Especially when nobody understand or know the hand that you was dealt, my brothers. Some of us had, we had an, um, uh, we had a mentor and some of us had an example of what a father should be. Some of us didn't have an example. I want to say shout out to those who didn't have an example. And you beat the odds. You didn't give up. You didn't quit. You didn't throw in the towel. You hung in there. And you showed your children, and you showed your, your wife, and you showed all those who, who know about you and know you, you showed them, hey, I'm going to be the man that God called me to be. I'm going to be a great dad to my children. I'm going to give my children what I never had, and I'm going to give them what is a dad. So I say shout out to you, my brother, and I say, brother, I'm pulling for you, and I'm saying God bless you. And I say I know the Lord's looking down on you, and the Lord is smiling on you, and the Lord is saying hang in there. And I just want to say a shout out to all the brothers. You know, you, 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 you thought about giving up, but you turned around and said, you know what? Anybody can give up. That's true, my brothers. It don't take somebody. It takes, you know, anybody can quit. My daddy used to always tell me, a winner never quit and a quitter never wins. So my daddy used to always tell me that, um, my brothers and sisters in Christ. So I want to shout out to all the men right now. I want to let the men know that we applaud you. We thank God for you. We thank God for you daddies. We thank God for a man in the home. We thank God for never giving up, turning away. And we thank the Lord for those who fighting against all the odds, all the negativity, and you still hung in there and you still being the man that God called you to be. I want to say a, 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 a good shout out to you, my brothers. And I want to say, hang in there, man. God sees you, God loves you, and God has great plans and great things for you. And I want to say to my brothers, who ain't Christ, and you saying, Woods, man, you know, hey, man, I'm doing the best I can, Woods. I'm doing the best I can, man, with what I got. Woods, you don't understand the hand that I was dealt. I don't. I may not do understand the hand that you dealt, that you was dealt, my brother. But God does. God understands. The Bible says God understands everything. And the Bible tells us that God is concerned about the little small details that concerneth your life. He's concerned about you, my brothers. And I just want to I just want to talk to you tonight. Not preach at you, just talk to you and let you know that we are so grateful and thankful. For every father that wake up Monday morning, for every father that turn up, that that turns out and say, "Hey, I gotta make a way for my family." Every father that that's being the forerunner for his loved ones, his his children, his daughters, his wife, his cousins, his uncles, his nieces, his nephews. You getting up and you doing what is required to do to be the man, to be the man that God called you to be. And I want you to let you know, my brothers, your life is not in vain. And you may say, some of you may say, Woods, I don't have nobody. Woods, I, I'm not married. Or Woods, I've been divorced. Or Woods, you don't understand what I've been through. But you didn't give up. That's the main thing, my brother. You didn't give up. And that's the thing I want to applaud you tonight. I want to celebrate you tonight. I celebrate all the men who didn't quit. You had reasons to quit, but you refused to quit. I want to applaud you, my brother. I want to say God is watching you. God loves you. God is pulling for you. God wants you to be everything that he created you to be. Nobody can be you, my brother. Nobody can do what God created you to do. So I want to applaud you on this day, 2022, June the 19th, Father's Day. I want to let you know we love you. We salute you. I salute you, Dad. 
I salute you, Father, for being there for your wife, for being there for your children, for being there for your family members, for being there for your nephew, your niece, your uncle, that somebody can see this is what a man's supposed to do. This is what a man's supposed to be. This is how a man's supposed to um, treat his family. This is how a man's supposed to lead his family. I salute you, man, and I tell you, somebody's watching you greater than you, and that's Almighty God. And I decree and declare, before your life is over, I decree and declare, before you leave this planet, I believe in my heart that you turn your life over to the Lord Jesus Christ. I leave this with you, my brothers. It's, it's in the daytime that we're living in now. It may look hard to be a man. It may seem very hard to be a righteous man. It may seem very hard to be a father, a grandfather, a godfather. It may seem very hard to be that spiritual father, that leader in the family. No, it's not, my brother. The main key and the main secret is you got to have the creator, the one who created you. He's the father of all fathers. And he knows how to make a, he knows how to make you an example of a righteous and holy father in the midst of a perverse and crooked generation. God knows how to lead you and guide you, my brother. So I say this before I leave. If you haven't made that move yet, and but you're a good dad and you're a good provider, and you provide for your family, and, you don't, and, and your family loves you, and we love you, and we are saluting you right now, but you haven't made that move yet. And I say to you, my brother, who haven't received Jesus Christ as his Lord and Savior yet, the Bible tells us that if you confess with your mouth and believe in your heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So my brother, repeat after me. Say, Heavenly Father, I believe that Jesus died for me. Father, I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. I believe that you said, I shall be saved. You said, Father, for with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth, the mouth confession is made unto salvation. So, Father, I turn it away. I'm, trying to, I'm tired of doing everything my way. I'm tired of trying to make all ends meet. When I heard in the Bible and I heard on the TV, I heard on the radio that my God shall supply all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ Jesus. So, brother, stop, turning, stop trying to do it yourself. God has made a way for you to have supernatural divine help. And he will, he, he will propel you to be the greatest father that you will ever be if you just surrender your life to him. I'm just coming live to you. I just want to share the love of God with all my brothers out there around the world. I salute you again, my brothers, and I say happy Father's Day. And to all those who didn't give up, man, God love you, my brother. Hang in there. Hang in there. Not only for your family, but hang in there for your bloodline your generation, and your genealogy. Hang in there, show, let people see that you beat the odds. The odds is against all mankind right now in the days that we're living in, but we can overcome. Because the Bible tells us, greater is he, the Lord Jesus Christ, that is in me, than he that is in the world. It's easy to anybody, anybody can give up and quit, but it take a special man, it take a special brother, to who refuse to quit and keep going on and say, I'm going to go all the way to the end. I'm going to make it all the way to the end. God bless you. Enjoy your day, Dad. Enjoy your day to the fullest. Don't worry about no negativity. Don't worry about no evil thoughts. Don't worry about who called, who didn't say Happy Father's Day. Don't worry about it. My brother, stay in love. Walk and live in love. The Bible tells us the love, the love of God covers a multitude of sin. The Bible tells us we love him because he first loved us. I stay in love. I refuse to pay attention to those things that are evil and negativity. Love you, my brothers. God bless you all the way from Atlanta, Georgia, all the way from Snailville, Georgia. 
Minister Bernard Woods. Enjoy your day to the fullest. And I say it again, I salute you and happy Father's Day to all my brothers who refuse to give up. In Jesus' name, amen.